Hi, and welcome to Section 4, Creating a Scoring System. In the last section, we covered saving character settings and spawning our character. In this section, we will plan our scoring system, which will include making several decisions and creating the on-screen component. We will also script our scoring system. Now we move on to the first video of this section and start planning our scoring system. In this video, we are going to get started by putting together a scoring schema, that is, deciding what to score, how to calculate the score, and how to display it to our player. Once our schema is set, we will create the visual component by adding a text overlay on our game screen. The last part of this video involves determining our scoring system scripting requirements. This will help prepare us for the next video. For our example, we will create a single consolidated point system. We will allow points to be added as well as deducted from the player's overall points. To gain points, the player can hit the enemy with a projectile. A second way of obtaining points is to engage a health pad. You will remember that we can engage a health pad by walking onto it or when one of our projectiles collides with it. For specific points, we will add 20 points each time a projectile hits the enemy character and add 3 points each time a health pad is engaged. Our player should be able to lose points, so let's detract 20 points each time the player collides with the enemy and deduct 100 points when the lava pad is engaged by the player or a projectile. In order to implement a scoring schema, we will need two data components. First, we will need an on-screen indication so the player knows their current score. We will also require scripts to keep track of their score. Let's launch Unity and take care of the on-screen component. In Unity, we have the scene view selected. The top bar of that window, you see a 2D button. I'm going to click that now, and you'll see that the perspective changes from 3D to 2D. Now over in the hierarchy view, I'm going to double click our canvas. And as you can see that focused and centered scene view on our canvas, I'll just simply zoom in so we can see it full screen. And what we're going to do is in this top right corner, we'll add a text overlay to our canvas. So in hierarchy view, I'm going to right click canvas, scroll down to UI and then select text. Now, we'll do some work over here in the inspector view. First, we'll rename this to current score. That way there's no question what it is. And next, under rect transform, we'll select that button. And we want to select the top right hand corner. So that will be our reference point. And you can see in scene view, flower icon shows that the, our reference point and our new text is here centered so we need to change the relative rectangle transforms to this new point so in inspector view i'm going to change x to negative 200 and you can see now that it's negative 200 from the right side of the screen we need to move it up some so for y We'll set that to negative 30. And there you can see it has been moved up. This is a 2D view, so we don't need to put anything for Z. We'll change the width and height. We'll make the width 319. And we will make the height 50. Now the text defaults to gray color, and we want to change that Let's make it white. So in inspector view, under text, I'm going to select this color bar. Color select will come up. I'm going to pick white and then close that palette. Now here we can change the font. If we use a non-system font, we will need to embed it in our project. So I will just keep this default font there. I will change the size from 14 to 19. And we will change the alignment here to center and center. So now you can see it's centered left to right and centered top to bottom. 
and in this text box we'll put just a representative sample text so we can see what it looks like. So you can see that our font and size fits well within that text area. And this will not be displayed in game. The actual score will be displayed. So we will save our work. And then we can test it. Put this in game mode. And you should see our default text in the top right. And there it is. Now that we have created our scoring schema and added an on-screen component to display the dynamic score to the player, we are left with one task. That task is to write the scripts to implement our game's scoring schema. First, we must determine what scripts we need. It is possible to create a new script that handles the entire scoring system for our game. If we were developing a much more robust game, we would likely take that approach. In our case, we will edit existing scripts to save us time. For gaining points, we edit the gain health script that is already attached to every health pad. We will edit the NPC lose health script that currently has a behavior when a projectile hits the enemy player. For colliding with the enemy, we will create a new script and attach it to our player character. Since the lava pad already has a lose health script attached to it, we will edit that script to deduct points as appropriate. Finally, we will edit the player manager script to update the on-screen score display.